again, rate, subscribe. Watch this one on YouTube because John from Bridesburg is, is an absolute electric factory. I'll talk to you Friday. Here's John from Bridesburg. All right. We are joined here from the internet sensation, the Philly captain, but you might know him as John from Bridesburg or the biggest flow rider fan in the world. John, what is it like to become an internet celebrity overnight? Um, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty awesome, especially for the fact that uh, I'm known as the number one flow rider fan. Is there anything better to be known as? I mean, quite honestly, the guy sings nothing but happy songs about going clubbing and dancing with girls and having a good time. And I'm the number one fan of dancing with girls and having a good time. I like that. I, I, I appreciate that. That's fun. So has Flo Rida contacted you, you now being the number one fan? Because I don't know if fan clubs are really a thing anymore, right? Back in the 90s, like you had your... I, I, yeah, I was, I was part of a Green Day fan club back in 1995. You had to mail a letter and it would mail you something back. Um, I haven't heard from him personally. Uh, 15 to go, he tweeted, thank you to me. And okay. he just shared an Instagram music video. And I opened up the music video. Um, pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty awesome. So going back through the, you introducing him, like, did you just black out? Because at one point you said hit like and subscribe and there was nothing to like or subscribe. That's, that's how I end all my YouTube videos. Okay. I all, I, every time I get done, I say hit like and subscribe. Um, it's just like one of my catchphrases. It was, it was more for like the people who watch my YouTube channel as a goof. Um, so yeah, it was just like a free way to, uh, public publicize my YouTube channel. But I guess, yeah, I sort of kind of blacked out because I didn't say the Philly captain one time, but that's okay. People also were calling you an imposter for saying Flo Rider and not Flo Rida, which I don't understand. Right. I would call you more of an imposter because you're from Bridesburg, and I don't feel like Bridesburg is a, is a hotbed for Flo Rida. Uh, I'm, one of the, I'm one of the few uh, Flo Rida fans in, yeah. in Bridesburg. Um, I, I, I have a Philadelphian accent. Yeah. And Flo Rida, I, I – Flow rider or flow rider. I, it's just the way I talk. I we talk like Jerry kids walk. We don't talk too good. Well, I don't talk too good. So yeah, I know everyone's. It, it's just the way I. But if you watch my YouTube channel, and this is the honest to God's truth, at the very beginning of the pandemic, I said, um, when the pandemic's over, I'm going to a flow rider concert. I'm going to hop on a plane. I got. I have a Patreon. I've been stay, saving up my Patreon money from all my my view my viewers and stuff. My fans. And I had, I had about $1,000 saved up. I was going to fly a plane, go to Indiana, go to the concert, and, and have fun. That's what I was really going to do. And then somehow Flo Rida just showed up at, at, in Philadelphia. But 16 months ago, I was calling him Flo Rida or Flo Rider. It's just the way I talk, you know? It's just, uh, I don't know. It's just the way I talk. I feel like you introduced the dialect of, of a guy from Northeast Philly, Bridesburg area, to a ton of different people in the world. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> no, I, I mean, guess between, that's good. Between you and Mayor of Easttown. You know, I, I heard something that Philadelphia has the sexiest accent in the world. Did you hear that survey? They, I did they, hear they, that. They, and I didn't know who – I think the school of the deaf took that survey. Because <laughs> who the would think that this it, – it, it really um, – yeah, we just – we talk really goofy. And uh, uh, we talk so goofy that Saturday Night Live – makes a uh, comedy bits out of us. Yeah. You know? so, so walk me through how you got to in front of that mic to deliver the best speech on in 4th of July history. Um, wow. Thank you. That's, that's, yeah. a, you know, 4th of July, a lot of things happened in Philadelphia, 4th of July, 1776, but we don't talk about that. What we talk about is July 4th, 2021 flow ride the day, as I call it. Uh, I had tickets for Wawa Welcome America. That's the name of the festival that the, everybody was headlining. I got tickets. Um, I, I got to the show very early because um, I'm a really big Flow Rider fan. And I was getting, the, I was going to go sit in the crowd, in the middle of the crowd, and just film my reaction. And then my fiance said, "Why don't we go sit closer to the stage?" So we wound up sitting. Uh, a row behind Flo Rida's guest. So NBC 10 came up to Flo Rida's guest because they were wearing Flo Rida shirts. 
and they said, hey, can we interview you about Flowrider? And they overheard me talking to my fiance about how excited I was about the concert. And the guy said, you know what? I'm not really a fan. I'm his friend. Uh, but this guy behind me, he really likes Flowrider. So before the interview started, I was talking to Anya uh, from NBC10. She said, just listen, I, you're going to probably be nervous. Just, just give a little bit of excitement. And just tell me why you're, you're here to see Flo Rider. And I said, just a little bit of excitement. And, and she said, yeah. And then, then she handed two flags to my, to my girlfriend. And she said, wave these flags just so it, it looks like people are excited behind them. And it wasn't the woman standing behind me who's actually in the video. That's not my girlfriend. My girlfriend said to the reporter, she goes, listen, you, you're not going to need me waving flags. Just, just watch them. And then before I gave my interview, Flo Rider gave an interview to the crowd. So I was like, why the hell would they put me on after him? Why would you put somebody else on the cat on stage, not on stage, but on the screen, uh, after the artist was on? I was I was like, oh, this is stupid. So I was like, fuck, I, I screw it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna hype up the crowd. And then that's if you watch the video, I'm yelling before the interview even starts. Yeah. I'm screaming, let's go! I'm, I'm getting the crowd all hawked up, getting ready to get ready. And uh it it was uh it was just fun. I don't, I, it was, it was, uh, and, 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 and like I said, tomorrow morning, I'm hosting, I'm co-hosting Philly live with the reporter who interviewed me. So it's, it's, uh, I don't know. It's, it's pretty, uh, pretty amazing. And then Flo Rida comes through with, uh, on someone's shoulders. Yeah. Would you be the shoulder guy if, if Flo Rida asked you to? That was a big dude. Uh, I, I don't think I could be the shoulder guy to flow. The guy who does the shoulder guy for Flow Rider, he was he's like three hundred pounds. Flow Rider is a big guy, man. Yeah, yeah. He, he um, I I wouldn't be that, but you do know he poured champagne down my mouth, right? I did see that video. Yeah. What was that like? That, that kept, well, that had to cap off like a beautiful day. It, it the last song he did was My House, okay, and um, he came out. And he, he was spilling champagne, like, sp like, like when you win the World Series, you spray the champagne. So I got some of the champagne sprayed on me. I was like, that was awesome. That was, and then he poured it down my gullet. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's awesome. And then he went around, started dancing. And at the end of the song, he takes my stupid hat off and puts it on. And, and that was, I mean, it was just, everything was amazing. Um, just going to the show would have made me extremely happy. Everything else that happened. I, you know, it, it, it was just insanely uh, crazy, and I'm so happy it happened. So is the pandemic over? No, no. But but it's not. Um, but March 21st it, you know, or July 4th, 2021, is, I, like to, I like to call that the, uh, the end of the pandemic. I, people, people have said I declare the end of the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, I guess the pandemic's over. I mean, here's this is why I, I was in the Man Music Center. We were in the man. Nobody, well, some people were wearing masks, but most people weren't wearing masks. And we were all sitting next to each other. Like, there's no space. I've been to Phillies games in April where there was only allowing 8,000 people. Everything spaced out. There was no space. Everybody was on top of one another. It really felt like the pandemic was over. And uh, so, yeah, you know what? Let me, let me scratch my first name. Yes, the pandemic's over. Just be careful. <laughs> Flo Rida killed COVID with John from Bridesburg's help. You guys did a lot more than maybe Anthony Fauci did. You ever think about that? Um, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I apologize to everybody in America. If I know, known me and Flo Rida could have ended the pandemic, I'm pretty sure we would have done that months ago. I'm, I'm sorry it took us so long. Yeah, if Flo Rida would have played a concert in Philadelphia a year ago, that we would be back to normal by now. Yeah, I mean, we shut down, what, St. Paddy's Day last year? So if he would have came here April, uh-oh, pandemic's over, you know? <laughs> Who knows what kind of world it would have been. Were you ever worried that, that Flo Rida was going to schedule a, uh, a Florida concert? Because obviously they were more open, and you were going to have to go down there and be like, oh, damn, I just made a, uh, I made a declaration uh, of the pandemic. I, uh, he did play a concert during the Super Bowl weekend. He played a, a Super okay. Bowl weekend. Um, so you meant to say the second concert that Flo Rida plays? Well, it was the second con it was the first main concert he played. The the um Super Bowl thing was a uh, like a Super Bowl party. You had to okay. be invited. Uh. Also, it was in Florida and I, the pandemic 
didn't really seem to phase them, which scared me a little bit. So I, I didn't, Florida, I, I was avoiding Florida. The pandemic didn't end in Florida. And then in Philadelphia. It it Florida. You can't end that shit in Florida. It's too crazy down there. I hope they put a plaque at the Man Center saying, John from Bridesburg and Flo Rida, with your guys' feet in your hands like you're at the, uh, at, at, uh, at the Chinese theater in, uh, in Hollywood. And you guys are like, you guys ended the pandemic. Wouldn't that that'd be awesome? No, it's better than awesome. What's a word better? I think that that needs to happen. I really does. I think we should be in textbooks. Holy shit, me and Flo Rida in textbooks. <laughs> This is how the pandemic started in Wuhan, China. And then me and Flo, just, just a goofy guy wearing a dumb cowboy hat, yelling about Flo Ride as the end. Fantastic. Oh. I, 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 that's, that's amazing. So where does John from Bridesburg go from here? Where does the Philly captain go from here? Uh, well, I'm a YouTuber. I YouTube, so I'm going to keep making YouTube videos. Uh, I'm hosting NBC 10 Philly Live, but that's, you know, I already aired since you're, you know, this is a, a podcast. So, it, it, you know build a time machine and go watch that. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Uh, I would like to throw out the first pitch for the Phillies. Oh. I would like to ring the bell for the Sixers. I would like to anything. I would like to do anything Philadelphia. Um, it's very exciting. Yeah. Well, for men who ended the pandemic, I think you should deserve all those things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. You know what? I'm just going to go with it. Yeah, I deserve everything I get. <laughs> have, you, have you thought about tackling any other issues? Like homelessness, um, or the food crisis, and you and Flo Rida just go around. Yeah, like, the next the next crisis I'm going to attack are asshole people who list who do uh, speakerphone calls on the L. Me okay. and Flo Rida are going to attack them. You ever see those people who yes. just do speakerphone? Who are those? What, nobody wants to hear your conversation, Linda. Hang up the phone. You know, I, I hate those people. And also Bluetooth speaker guy. You ever see that guy on the L? You take the oh, L. Yeah. And he connects his phone to the speaker, and he turns it up real loud. And he's not playing Flow Rider, so nobody's enjoying it. So uh, yeah, we're going to attack a uh, Bluetooth speaker guy and a uh, speakerphone talker. How next. about people that play their speakerphone in their car, and it's hooked up to the car, and you can hear it with the windows up? You ever you ever encountered those people? You yeah, yeah, the they're ever, I mean, yeah, that's the, the whoever I hate the people who blast the music real loud in their car and their windows shake and they make your house windows shake. And, and is it ever a good song? Is it ever? No, it's garbage. It's garbage every time. All right. You have a list of crises you and Flo Rida need to attack. I like this. I, yeah, no, I mean, I mean, I, I don't know if Flo Rida knows that we're doing this, but in my head, he, he, he should get ready to get ready because we're going to tackle some important issues has anyone contacted you from like philadelphia was like i'm also a huge flow rider fan like a rival no. i guess no no how many flow rider fans have you ever heard of in your life everybody i i think i found from out something. before you <laughs> he's a he's a guilty pleasure um yeah. uh which is silly because guilty pleasures are something you should be embarrassed about and, and there's nothing to be embarrassed about liking a music artist um there there are you know there's goofy music all over the world and mm -hmm. there's people say music is all kind of opinionated there's nobody can make you like something or not like something um i i, I just i i do see a lot of comments like i can't believe flow rider has a fan that that's that excited to see him i mean i, I think flow rider doesn't care he's just counting all his money to the bank and and, and hooking up with models and clubs and stuff like he 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 has won at life. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh, he he has a life of yeah, banging banging models and drinking crystal, um, and maybe uh, maybe one day uh, he'll uh, spill another drop down my throat. One day, if I get to go to another flow ride at a concert, he should have me open up for him at every show. He I really mean, should. I, you should be his hype man. I, I mean, he has a DJ that talks before he comes on. Like, come on, let's get ready for flow ride. And I was like, this guy sucks. I'm so much. I, I, yeah. I, I would definitely, uh, I think that would be my dream job doing that for Flow Rider. Just traveling. Flo, yeah. Just traveling and okay. yelling about Flow Rider for a few days. That, 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 could you think of anything better to do? I mean, probably, yeah, but. <laughs> Have you tried to bring yeah. Flow Rider to I, the other people of, of, of Bridesburg? Spread the good news of Flow Rider. Like, uh, yeah. 
yeah, I, it would be, uh, I think, spreading the word of uh, Flow Rider, like, like a, a preacher, like an insane preacher. Yeah. I think that's my calling. Do you have a minute for me to talk to you about the teachings of Flow Rider? Do you go up to people's yes. doors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, um, yeah, like a Jehovah's Witness, yes. but, but not, you, most people wouldn't slam the door on me. They'll go, what? A Flow Rider religion? Please come in, share yeah. it with me. I think you have a business model if you ever think about doing that. I, I just I just started thinking about it, but give me a few days and I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with it. Sure, uh, I'm gonna start knocking at your door first. I'm gonna go around the Fairmount neighborhood. <laughs> so, where can people find you on YouTube? Where can they find you on Twitter? Where can they find you on Instagram? I know you said you're not technologically savvy. Your YouTube's I'm very not. good. Are you? Are you? Uh, but Twitter and, and Instagram, you're not a big guy on there. I I, I think I, I broke a hundred followers on Twitter oh, well. yesterday. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm pretty good at Instagram because that's just that's pictures. That's yeah. pretty easy. You know, I'm like a child. I could do pictures, but not words. Uh, oh yeah, the Philly captain. I'm the Philly captain everywhere. Philly captain YouTube, Philly captain Facebook, Philly captain Instagram, Philly captain Twitter. I don't do TikTok. Uh, I'm 40, and uh, I, I think there's an age limit. And if you're above 40, you shouldn't be touching TikTok. That's silly. If you're above 40 and you're doing with TikTok, delete that app. And maybe, uh, you know, think about a... Uh, other things in life, like flow ride. Sue CBD. Now, if anyone needs Sue CBD, it's John from Bridesburg. That man is an excitable, excitable person. I don't know how he goes to sleep. So, John, if you're listening to this, listen up. Sue CBD is a local hemp-derived CBD product that contains no THC. Their all-natural, vegan, gluten-free products are used for, to relieve stress and pain while helping to aid sleep and inflammation. You can choose from products like gummies, tinctures, rubbing cream, and 10% of all their profits from every sale – go to the National Alliance of Mental Illness. So you can find them at soothelife.com. You can use promo code FIND10, that's P-H-I-N-E 10, for 10% off a checkout. It's a great way to support the show. If you enjoy the show, 